Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today's video, we're going to be calculating the mean variance and standard deviation of five students' exam scores from a statistics course with a total of 25 students. The key words in this problem are that we're using just five students as a sample from a class of 25. So our number of elements in this problem are going to be n equals just five. This is a good keynote to begin with because we see here we have five scores. Our five scores are going to be 88, 74, 92, 87, and 75. And now to begin this, what we first have to do is we have to calculate the mean. We need the mean so we can take the sample and subtract the mean so that we could generate this second part of the chart, which is the sample minus the mean squared. And these are important for getting the variance and the standard deviation. And being that these are based on a sample, this is going to be the sample mean, the sample variance, and the sample standard deviation. All right? Now let's begin the problem then. Let's find the sum of x first, as the sum of x is the most important thing that we need to do here. Now remember, when you're doing these kind of problems, you need your calculator handy because we're going to be taking the difference between the sample and the mean, and we're going to be squaring the result of the difference between the sample and the mean. Besides that, we also need to sum up the value of x and also the sum of the differences of the squares. And so when we take this sum here, we're going to get the sum of x to be 416. Now that we have the sum of x, we can continue to the mean itself. Because the mean, the x bar, which represents the mean, is equivalent to the sum of x divided by n. And in our case, we have the sum of x is 416. So let's just go and plug that in on top. And we have our n value as well, which is just 5. Now, if you're using a calculator and you're dividing this, you know that this is going to be a terminating decimal with a value of 83.2. So here we have our mean. Now that we have our mean, we're going to go back to the second part of the chart. We're going to take the sample and literally subtract the mean value. So we're going to do this to every value we have here, right? So 88 take away 83.2, that's going to give us 4.8. We're going to write the result right here. We're going to take the next sample, 74. We're going to subtract 83.2. And when we take 74 and we subtract 83.2, we're going to get negative 9.2. Now remember, when you're doing this and you get negative values, we can almost disregard these. I'll continue talking about this when we get to the, second, the third part of this chart. So let's continue subtracting. Now we have 92, take away 83.2. And this is going to result in 8.8, right? And we have 87, take away 83.2. And this is going to be 4.8, right? Or 3.8. Yeah, 3.8. This is why it's important to keep a calculator handy, because sometimes you may just make a small mistake with the calculation, right? The last thing we have is 75, take away 83.2. This is going to result in negative 8.2, all right? Now our next goal is, for this part, since we see that the title headers are similar, in this case we have the sample minus the mean, which the results are here on the right side, and now we want to take those values and square them. Now we can disregard the negative symbols because when we square anything, when you square it, a negative times a negative is positive. So we're just going to take the absolute values of each result here, like 4.8, and we're going to square 4.8. We're going to take 9.2, we're going to square 9.2. We're going to take 8.8, we're going to square it. We're going to take 3.8, we're also going to square that. We're also going to square this 8.2 here. So now as far as the result goes, we need to calculate for each one of these, right? So we're going to get 23.04 for this one. Now 9.2 squared, that's going to be like 84.64 exactly. 8.8 .8 squared, we're going to get exactly 74.44. The next term we're going to get is 3.8 squared, which is 14.44. And the final square we have here is 8.2 squared. Now, 8.2 squared is 67.24. And so, the next sum that we need in this case is going to be the sum of the sample minus the mean squared. So that value is going to go here with the notation as similar as the column name and header. And we're just going to write it like this. And the last thing we need to do is take the sum of this column. 
Now, when we add all five values, we're going to get 266.8. Now, this is going to be very useful. It's getting the variance and the standard deviation are very dependent of this value and the value of n minus 1. So let's see what the formula looks like right here for the variance. The, the notation for the variance is s squared. And to get the s squared value, we're going to take the sum of the x minus the x bar squared divided by n minus 1. Now the sum of the x minus x bar squared, which is the sum of the sample minus the means, squared is going to be 266.8. And that's going to be divided by 5 minus 1. So this is 266.8 divided by 4, and our result of 266.8 divided by 4 is 66.7. And this is going to be our variance. Now, as far as the standard deviation goes, the notation for it is just us. And it's very similar to the, no the formula we had for this variance here, right? The difference between the variance and the standard deviation is that we're going to have the square root symbol over the variance. So this is simply just the sum of x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1. Now, since we did everything already for the variance that's inside of the standard deviation, what we're going to do is we're going to take the end result, because everything plays out the same. The values over here are going to be 266.8 divided by 5 minus 1, which becomes 266.8 divided by 4, and that's just going to leave us with the square root of 66.7. Now, on the calculator, when we take the square root of this, we're going to get 8.167. And usually what we do is we round this to one extra place than the mean. And since the variance is at one decimal, we can go ahead and take it to just one decimal. Right? Here we're just going to get 8.2 as a standard deviation. That concludes this video.